Okay, I have just emptied my freezer and this is what's in it. Do, do, do. So let me just go through it. I have got one full bag of cauliflower, um, a third of a bag of cauliflower and then a little bit more cauliflower. See, this is what happens when I don't organise my freezer. Then I've got broccoli, parsnips, sauce parsnips, what's this? Vegetable medley, that's not even one portion in there, marvellous. Leftover um, mashed potato, so that's for a meal somewhere along the line. Savoy cabbage. That pasta has been there. None of my cupboards are big enough to put it in. So, um, so savoy cabbage. A little tiny bit of chips left. Maybe one meal. Maybe one meal for telling me lad. Now on to fish. So I have some seafood sticks. don't know what's happening with them. I have tuna steaks. I have a single solitary lonely fillet of fish. Quite a little one as well. Like that. And <clears throat> four more fillets of fish. So we've got enough fish to for Jesus to feed the 5,000 I think. So, uh, these, I went through a craze in the summer last year and now they're all out of the box, they're all down to the ground, I've even got some mini milk lolly there. So, I need to organise them. The dog loves them as well, don't tell anybody, but yes, he loves them too. Right, oh, I've also got some sweet potato fries. You can go with them. An unopened bag of sweet potato fries. Right, next is fruit. So I've got some frozen blueberries, put the wrong these in the packet. I've got some frozen raspberries. You can't even see them properly, can you? There you go, frozen raspberries. And I've got two homemade pie fillings that we've got those two plum trees out the, in the back garden. Fruit, fruited last year so I collected some up to not waste it and and now it's still there in my freezer and not even being used so there you go handy right, so that's that then I've got a mashed up bag ripped to shreds of Richmond sausages and then those sausages that I got from the farm shop so that's that. I've got some southern fried chicken steaks there, if you can't see, and I forgot to take the uh, cooking ingredients off the box when I put them in the bag. So that's a uh, cook until they're dead, really, to make sure we don't get ill. Chicken, chicken thighs, two ribeye steaks, these are gorgeous. I know you can see a massive fat vein and as you can tell from my previous haul shop, I'm not going to be eating any of these. So, fellow my lad's going to have a wonderful time. And then I've got some diced beef for stew because I have to make stew from scratch because fellow my lad's allergic to onion and every packet sauce, dried or or jarred or whatever, has got um onion or celery or onion and celery and garlic and all sorts of rubbish in it so <clears throat> we have to have bland food in this house unfortunately that is some leftover spaghetti sauce with some yellow and you can just about see some yellow and green mush um yellow and green peppers and mushrooms in there there's no onion in that so we can have that but we haven't got any mincemeat i've noticed Oops, anyway, we'll see. And I've got these Aberdeen Angus quarter pounders. There's only two in here. So I'll 
do something along with that and then I've got already portioned up six pork chops so two pork chops in each bag did I tell you about the, these yeah I think I did Chicken thighs. right so that's the lot now I'm going to put them in separate bags individual so I can get everything in the freezer because it's just I can't at the moment so I'll see you back here when I've bagged it all up okay Bye. so this is what I have left after sorting out everything in my freezer so I've still got a full bag of cabbage still got a full bag of cauliflower I've put the freeze pops and what have you in a bag separate the fruit is now mixed up in a bag I've got to keep them well, I don't know when I'm going to be making them but I feel like I can't throw them out still got the mashed potato still got the parsnips one bag of sweet potato fries one bag of a mix of white potato and sweet potato fries because they were left over from two little bags cauliflower portion of cauliflower for one meal portion of cauliflower with the rest of that vegetable medley that you saw before for another meal portion of broccoli and another portion of broccoli then we've got I've got the chicken thighs I was trying to separate them but they won't separate they just they just will not separate apart from like chucking them on a concrete floor I can't seem to get them apart so I'm gonna to have to cook them all together so the steaks are now in separate little oh sorry I'm pointing over there the steaks are now in separate little bags diced beef is in a bag there's still the pork chops that are there anyway I've still got a bag of tuna steaks and the seafood sticks all five of my fish fillets are in there with two different cooking ingredients Sausages, there's Richmond and half of the Cleveland sausages in there. The other half is defrosting, ready for Mr's tea tonight. And that's the um, quarter pounders or whatever they were, the Angus burgers. So that now is going to fit in my freezer. I'm going to take off, let me get them. I'm going to take all these that I bought earlier out of their boxes cut out where is it cut out the how to cook how to cook well how to cook there you have it I'm gonna cut that out and just uh, tape it to the top of the box of the um, carton that it, that's it it's inside this box so I'm going to do that and then that will save a bit of room as well. That's that and then my freezer should be wonderful. Okay. Thank you for watching.